Hey, Soma Seas, Spirit here with a special PSA. I want to give a big thank you to those of you who are true fans of the Soul Special platform, formerly known as Spirit Vibes and the Tarot Temple, respectively. But due to tarot read of theft and behind the scenes YouTube rigging and the lack of viewer support, Soul Special will be ending unless the viewers express their support to keep Soul Special returning. In order to do that, please cash out a dollar donation to Jared Got Goods. The link is in the description box. Your donation will determine your future reading. In the meantime, please enjoy this moment in time forecast, a forecast that is timeless or never ending. So whenever you get the nudge from the source, you can always come to this platform as long as it exists and view that forecast. Once again, I want to thank you so much for the views you have provided over the past five years. It is deeply appreciated. Now let's get to it and enjoy. What's up, Scarabs? Welcome back to Soul Special for another Moment in Time forecast. Okay, this is endless, never ending. And um, as long as the station exists, I'm just speaking of YouTube, as long as YouTube exists and you have access to this platform, if you ever get your nudge, this reading will apply. It could be several times in your life. <laughs> it will always apply. But we're going to go ahead and break the ice. Um, before we get started with some trivia questions, okay? So we're doing era questions. I don't know what era between the 80s and 2010s, but uh, I'm sure it's somehow, some way, it applies to your forecast. So you're coming out of the 80s. I hope you didn't see the answer. A portable stereo was also known as what? This is back in the 80s. A portable stereo was also known as what? A, a Walkman. B, a boombox. C, shoulder radio. D, stereo system. Walkman, boombox, shoulder radio, stereo system. A portable stereo was also known as what? A, a Walkman. B, a boombox. C, shoulder radio. D, stereo system. So, there's your question. No looking it up before you try to answer it on your own. Take a wild guess. Okay. So, you um, 90 and 2000 babies. You probably will have to look it up. <laughs> but just try to guess before you do. Now we're going to do a travel trivia question. Worldly travel. Maybe you are traveling a lot. Maybe you're about to um, expound on some world travels. Go out of the country or something. So let's see what's going on. Okay. With you in regards to traveling. True or false, Antarctica is a desert. <laughs> True or false, Antarctica is a desert. I'll leave that for you. I don't know the answer myself. Antarctica, I think. Well, I ain't going to say what I believe it is. Let's go ahead and stir the pot. Okay. Fire, earth, air, and water elements. What is in your head? What's going on in your head? What you thinking about? Scarabs. Okay. Stir in the pot. For fire, earth, air, and water elements. You could be in these elements at any time. In your house. Okay. For fire, who would be the easiest to beat up? You think about beating up so Cancer, you know, I know a little something about you. <laughs> I know a little something about you. Yeah, you all nice and sweet and soft on the outside. <laughs> but you number one when it comes to the murder rate, okay? <laughs> all right. Who would be the easiest to beat up? For Earth, 
whose family would you want to be adopted into? Whose family would you want to be adopted into? That's for Earth, okay? Probably some family got that good living. <laughs> okay? Earthy people like to live well. <laughs> okay? Air. Who is the worst influence on the group? Okay? Who is the worst influence on the group? Okay? That's a good question right there. Just stirring the whole group wrong, right? It could be the family group. <laughs> it could be your community that you live in, your work group. Somebody is the worst influence. <laughs> Just making people do all the wrong shit every day. <laughs> okay. And for water, your element. Who makes friends with everybody? I don't know if that's good or bad. All right. You sure know how to flow through the community, don't you? Who makes friends with everybody? Everybody your friend. <laughs> That's good. Yes, you need all kinds of friends, huh? You need all kinds of friends. Whoop ass friends, you know, chill friends. <laughs> you know, close, close knit friends. All right, let's get you a written word because that is the oracle you was chosen for. Okay, so this could be words of guidance, you know, words to live by, words of truth, the written word. What is the oracle written word for the scarabs for this moment in time, at this time? There's all kinds of mothers. Ooh, okay. Let's talk about who... Family, would you want to be adopted into? There's all kinds of mothers. So to use the label mother and to think you really understood all that a human being is because she's a mother is a mistake. That's by the beautiful Felicia Rashad. You know, Bill Cosby's wife, <laughs> the Cosby show, those are her words. There's all kinds of mothers. So to use the label mother and to think you really understood all that a human being is because she's a mother is a mistake. That's a good thing. Damn. Mm, that's good. Let's get some planetary alignments going on. See who's affecting the events in your life, your choices, how you think, your energies. You can also use this as your, um, what I call angel number, okay? Special message behind it. So you have four of swords in Mars, okay? Ooh, you have Pluto, carrot energy, and Jupiter, wow, 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 in the, um, Pentacles energy. That's a good thing. 405. So write that down. 405. That's your angel number. Those um, those energies, whatever they relate to you, is going to apply to the events or whatever the occasion that you're experiencing at this time. I'm going to give you some insight into what it's all about and what it's trying to do, okay? So, you're definitely thinking forward, forward thinking, okay? Um, and you're definitely thinking about how quickly to execute something, okay? This could be on your job. This could be something something for you personally. It could be in love. Who knows? This is worth money and romance, right? But I think with this hybrid energy, you're able, when you put two things together, which is something how you, what you may be thinking about, how to put two and two together, how to come together with someone, it's definitely an eye opener. Okay. You're going to get deeper insights. I hope you can, hope you can still hear me. Cause I, <laughs> okay. Deeper insights into something, something that flourishes. Okay. This, this, this. This transforms you, okay? It helps you to flourish, okay? And, and that's funny I said that because we have Jupiter in your plans. And we know Jupiter is a benefactor, okay? Um, this could be a... Whatever it is, it's going to require commitment, 
for some of you, this could really be surprising. Unexpected. Bettering your plans. More than likely by... It's like... You have something totally different than this other counterpart. You put it together and you make something that is... I don't know why I'm getting nutritious, but I'm going to say that. But you make something that's, that's worth the while, that's healthy, that's beautiful, that's beneficial. You see what I'm saying? But if for whatever reason, you can't do it alone. It, it's requiring a partnership. And I think at this point, you're trying... You're, you're in thought mode, okay? How do I go about this and... It, it's really a tax on your energy. That's why you have to think about it. Maybe even in partnership, this could be in relation to getting married. Okay? So I don't know. Um, only you know, okay? And, 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 and I'm seeing the word everybody. Everybody's being questioned for some reason. Everybody is. The, friends are being questioned. You questioning everybody. Who is really your friend? <laughs> Who is really your family? Okay? Because I've been saying this for years. DNA does not determine your family. You have just as many complications with them people that you do with the outside world. And that's facts. Okay? That's facts. Who is your true family? You know, the Bible says that Jesus said a friend, a true friend, will stick closer to you than any brother. That's family. You know what I'm saying? But we also know that it's those that is closest to you who does the most harm. Okay? All that's being said for a reason. Seeing some of you need to take a walk. Okay, you need to walk. I don't know if it's in relation to your health. Um, we do have Mars here. Mars deal a lot with your energy. We have the carrot here, which deals with certain nutrients, you know what I'm saying? And not just for you know better vision, but you will have better vision. You're gonna get better insight into something, probably about family and friends. Who truly loves you? So you may be thinking about who you want to invite to the wedding. It's nothing to hear about. I don't know. But it keeps, that's intuitive. Okay. Overall, we have this queen of pentacles here. Okay. We have mommy energy. It's based on the ace of pentacles. Expect this um, page of cups. Um, we have the two of cups. This is your energy. Page of cups, two of cups. And then we have the seven of swords on um, in your outcome. You have your contention, your complexity, your challenge. I don't know why I'm getting competition out of that. I've never gotten that out of these uh, placements. But you're getting competition, <laughs> okay? And it's in the three of pentacles reverse. Underlining that, uh-oh, we have a lover's card. Mm, I'm onto something, okay? Um, this deals with soul connections. It can even be your siblings. It could be a love. This also deals with neighbors. Okay. Underlining is confusion, misunderstandings, miscommunications. But for some reason, the angels aligned it that way. I think it's to make you smarter, brighter. Remember, we got this character to transform your thinking. Okay to transform your thinking. And I see that this reflection, reflecting on what somebody is throwing at you, whether it's verbally in your face, whether it's through a text message, email, you know, a conversation with somebody tells you something, or you hear something and they're walking off, or you overhear something that's in passing, it's going to affect you. It's going to give you insight. It's going to transform your thinking. You'll never be the same. It's going to transcend your thinking. Okay? You go from this level to a higher level. 
okay and it's all based on a bigger plan i don't know if this is the angel's bigger plan or your bigger plan or somebody else's bigger it looks like it came out of a meeting okay this could this can portend a possible uh i'm getting an, an agreement but a partnership per se you know and the two of cups oftentimes lets me know that this is somebody that you're questioning you you know you like what you see you like what you hear but you don't know you know you look forward to seeing the person but you don't really know about the connection okay and i see you having this sweet exchange okay i'm also getting prop a prop now normally a prop is something that we use um on you know on set like on tv sets to make things look good i don't know where it's coming from maybe it's part of the bigger plan um but i'm also seeing here like online post is important meeting somebody online as well having this sweet exchange but i feel like Yeah, for some of you, this could be online, an online post, like a back and forth, because they really want to, con you or them really want to connect with each other. And this could be because of what you're posting, making, you know, whatever this made, this bigger plan is, because I see you a part of it, okay, or, or this female figure this is the mommy energy okay she's making plans she has an idea and it's part of the bigger plan i'm seeing a lot of fertility here you know a lot of um rabbit energy Rabbit. That could be a nickname. But it's about growth, how to grow your money, a bigger plan. And this clandestine meeting is a problem. Because it's, it's about somebody being above board. Okay. Um, what's the secret? What's the secrets all about? What's the secret meeting all about? You know what I'm saying? It's, why are you coming to me like on the low-key-like, low, low, key like, low key like, okay? But I see this proposition it's because somebody wants to proposition you, okay? They want to proposition you, but they want to keep it on the hush, you know, Shh, on the hush, keep it personal, you know, um... Something about clean. About I'm seeing something about you being able to reach. Okay, it's something about height and being able to reach, like, like trying to reach the ceiling. Okay, they, they could be literally, you know, in your career trying to reach the ceiling, you know, because the ceiling is like where everything's capped off, right? The ceiling, this glass ceiling. And it's, you know, the um, that's professional talk as well about the glass ceiling it was a, it's another way they used to term that but you don't get any higher than the ceiling this 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 could be in relations to finances though But it's concerning you for some reason. You know, it's something that needs to be ironed out because maybe it's who you're matched with or you're not certain about this, about, you know, 
this connection. So expect to have a little um what is it that I'm trying to say? Um what you know, a, a, a moment to just to listen, just to hear what they have to share with you. Because whatever this proposition is, I don't know. Now, for some of you, this could be about a move in. I see mommy here. This could be about a move in. This could be about a business. Now, for others of you, this is work related. Work, money, and romance. Time and money and romance, okay? Tamar. Time and money and romance. And I see that this feminine energy, this could be a masculine as well, just in this feminine energy. Could be um, somewhat like a, a, a stay home dad or, um, yeah, what they call them, daddy moms or something like that. I think it. But you're trying to grow this plan. You're trying to grow this money. And you're trying to do it quickly. You have a fertile mind. Now, for some of you, this is in relation to pregnancy. Pregnancy is coming out of this. And this could be the confusion here. You know, like who's who's the daddy? <laughs> okay. But it's definitely about a bigger benefit. And I feel like you're going to, the best, what's so good about this, what's the best thing about this, the blessing behind this, is you taking in what this person has to say. They're trying to get something across to you. Now, this, again, this could be an impression that they're trying to make, but it kept, it captures your attention. It's like it transcends your thinking and you get a greater benefit out of it. Okay. It's like handed, it's like angelic. It's like handed straight from heaven, whatever it is. It's like handed straight from heaven. But I'm hearing the word tied. Okay. Tied. Tying, tying it together mentally or tying it together in terms of partnership. For some of you, this is dealing with your dreams. Okay, because I'm getting roll, roll, roll your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. But I see some patience here in this connection. For some of you, this is definitely about how to heal a situation or, you know, how to heal a relationship. And I also see something here about health care as well. This could be you taking in this information as well. Because maybe when it comes to your health, there's a bigger plan here, okay? There's a bigger plan. You need to transform your health, you know, because... Mars deals with your energy. Whatever it is, it's taxing your energy. Let me see something. And it could, let me see. Well, it's out of retrograde. No. It's not. It's Mars is retrograding in Leo. And when Mars retrogrades, it can be a tax on your energy. You have lower energy. But maybe during this time between now and the beginning of next year, you would have experienced this, okay? But you take in on what somebody is throwing at you. They're putting something on your mind, okay? You think about it. <laughs> and that's the blessing because it's, it's the key to your next move, 
okay, to your bigger plan, whatever it is, to getting your slice of the pie. Okay, let's paint your picture for this moment in time. But rabbit is major here. This rabbit is major here. Some of you may eat rabbit. It's something here about a mason. Whatever these events are that's going on around this time, it's something about your window, you know, you, you may get this impression when being in the window or looking out the window or something here. Because something is blocked in that window, a blocked window. And it's a complication. It's a contention. It's, it's, it's. some type of challenge with that this dealing with this clandestine meeting this secret meeting and it's got something to do with money I'm also hearing for those of you something about a raise so I don't know if you're trying to raise prices or you trying to get a job you know a raise you know an increase from the job that you do, the work that you do. You need to meet up, you know, about that and have a private talk, definitely. But again, another thing that stands out is there are all kinds of mothers and we have mommy here. And this is about a hookup. <laughs> this is definitely about a hookup. Okay, this is about a hookup. So there are all kinds of mothers. So to use the label mother and to think you really understand all that a human being is because she's a mother is a mistake. Okay. Who that car keeps coming out, it's getting on my nerves. Okay. Leaving this community, coming out of this, coming out of this place with this job, whatever this, this community car is falling out so much. I'm about to throw this deck to the side. Okay. So it's also about rethinking, rethinking your community, rethinking your, your work community, you know, your family community. Because some of you are, are like one <laughs> whose family you want to be adopted into at this time in your life. It's probably too late. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you'll get an adopted family through this connection. Who knows? So you want to be in a reputable community, you know, and you're considering traveling there too, you know, long distance traveling. It don't necessarily mean from uh, country to country or state to state. You can have long distance travel in the city that you live in from city to city to town to town. You know, it just takes a while. All right. This could be by bus as well. So it's something about taking a trip outside your community that's reputable. And, and I feel like some of you may hear about that. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you know, I don't know if you at work or, you know, in passing on the street, but you hear something and it, it triggers you to, to pay attention, you know, to make money moves, you know, because obviously where you are in your community right now is too much hostility, miscommunication, fights, disagreements. It's something going on and it's got to come to a head just like anything else, you know, just like anything else. And, and it's, it's, and the plan is beneficial. The pay is beneficial. Okay. 
because Jupiter brings rewards. There's a reward behind all of this, okay? Uh, it may be making this move or taking this trip is how you gain, you know, you get your part of the bigger plan. You get your piece of the pie, okay? But planning well is um, major here. You know, this is thinking ahead of time, putting it on a paper, making a list. You know what I'm saying? Thinking it through. Careful planning. But then the outcome, you're going to get hit up. They're going to hit you up about this bigger plan. And you're going to be very attentive. Okay? Because it's beneficial. It's rewarding. Okay? It's whatever it is. It's beneficial and it's rewarding. All right, Scarabs? Let's see where your fate lies. In Ezwas, okay? Right on, right on. In Ezwas, okay? Kind of look like a little Z. The N, X, Y, Z. Strength, reliability, dependability, trustworthiness, enlightenment, endurance, defense, and protection. Those are some of the traits and elements that are integrated into this moment in time whenever it applies to you. Okay, it could be now, it could be 20 years from now. I don't know, but always pay attention to your source. So I'm going to leave it here. Maybe we'll connect in the future. I don't know. That's left up to you. But nonetheless, for those of you who are doing book sincere work, many blessings. And um, maybe we'll see each other in the future. Till then, peace.